What's going on everyone? It's Brain with Jacoja Fine Jewelry, your personal jeweler. I want to do something we've never done on this channel and make a video just on gold bracelets. Let's get started. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Jacoja Fine Jewelry. Visit my website www.jacoja.com common for the love of the gold bracelets smash that like button smash 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 check out the new gold cross that i have on the website available in yellow white and rose gold of course on a one and a half millimeter rope chain something simple that's not going to break your bank um, i like this it's about an inch and a half and then the rope chain very nice complements this piece very well now here and there in videos, I show a few different chains and I say it's very important to not neglect your wrists or your fingers, but I haven't done my part in showing you guys the proper bracelets to help you decide on which ones you like. Now everything I show here will be on my website, so go check those out, prices, gram weight, all that good stuff. They're all solid 14 karat gold. So let's take the time and look at a few different bracelets. In my opinion, no gold bracelet is too small. If I was just to wear one of these bracelets every single day, it would have to be this three and a half millimeter Miami Cuban link. I call it the mini link. You just don't really notice you're wearing it. It's nice and elegant, just a cool, fun bracelet. And then you stack all of them. I got the four millimeter, which has been really popular with you guys. I've shipped a bunch of these ones out. And then the anchor and the Miami Cuban link, the thicker one as well. So, and then people ask me, hey, Brayden, is it okay if I have a rope chain and like a flat link bracelet on at the same time? Yes, of course. You have to mix and match the different designs, even with the chain. If you have a Miami Cuban link chain and a Franco or rope bracelet, it's okay to do that. Because as you see, I just have a bunch of nice, high quality, kind of Mr. T looking style going on with a bunch of shiny 14 karat gold. No one's gonna complain. And of course you need the matching gold ring as well, just to complement this overall look. Now to measure and see what size you are, I like to just take a shoestring or a string, wrap it around my wrist, see where it is, and then measure it on a ruler. I'm pretty sure if you don't have an actual ruler, you can go online and print out a ruler these days, or there might even be an app for that. I don't know, but that's how I like to do it. Um, typically the sizes are seven, eight, and nine, eight being the standard for men's, like the average, and then seven if you have small wrists, 10, 11, or nine, 10, 11 if you have bigger size wrists, but just measure it. The same thing with ring, finding your finger size, you could Google printable ring finger sizer, and then it has it, it prints out, you just wrap it around your finger, and then it'll show you your size more or less, you'll get a ballpark idea. It's never bad if the bracelets are a little loose. You don't want them too tight where like they barely clasp because it's just going to feel suffocating all day. Same thing with the ring. You don't want that thing where it barely comes off. You go out and have Chipotle. You go out and have a drink and have some sodium and that thing's not coming off. You're going to be very panicked. So a little, a little room just to kind of wiggle around is not always a bad thing. You don't want it too loose with this or this because then it's just it'll bother you because you feel like it's going to fall off. But that's, that's with sizing. Um, overall, you, you have to just know what you like, if what look you like. I think the rope bracelet, the Miami Cuban link, are the most popular bracelets. Um, and then you get funkier ones. You can go with the Franco, the Anchor, Flat Links, uh, just the Byzantine, all the different ones. And I have a bunch on my website, so go check those out. And of course, I'll be adding more and more. If you guys have any questions on bracelets, let me know, email me, DM me on Instagram. Thank you for watching and we will see you on our next jewelry video.